friends. Today we're going to be talking about how to determine if polygons are similar. All right, take a moment, uh, pause the video, go ahead and write these down, uh, and then come on back. All right, so for these guys, we have uh, two squares here. Uh, not squares, I'm sorry, two rectangles. We, they're not squares because they would be the same side all the way around, but they are uh, rectangles, and we know that because we've got four right angles in here. Okay, so what we want to do, there's actually two different ways to do this to compare if these are similar. First thing you want to do is compare, we, we, let's call this guy A, and we're going to call this one B. On, on rectangle A, we have 16 over 20. We're going to use some ratios to do this, ratios. Remember, ratio, a proportion is just two ratios uh, comparing two ratios. And remember, ratio, just a fraction. All right, so 16 over 20. That is going to equal, and notice how we did top and then side, right? We want to do top and then side on the same one. So we're going to say that equals 12 over 15. All right. So how do we compare if these ratios are the same? We have two different ways of doing this. The easiest, I think, is to reduce those fractions. Example, if we divide this by 4 on the top and bottom, we would end up with 4 over 5. If we divide this by uh, 3, it took me a second there, 3 on the top and, and the bottom, we would have 4 over 5. So these uh, ratios are the same. It doesn't always work out that way, so there's another way you can do this. Now, and I'll show you that second method uh, as I show you the second way that you can also write your ratios. Uh, the second way you can write your ratios. So we did a, uh, we did uh, small side over big side equals small side over big side. This time what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, small side A over small side B equals large side A over large side B. Okay, and now again, you could reduce these down if you wanted to and make sure that you get the same proportions. Another way, however, that you can do this is if you wanted to um, cross multiply, cross product is what it's called. So if we have 12 times 20, that's going to give us 240, right? Because 12 times 2 is 24 plus a 0. Uh, and then we have 15 times 16. 15 times 16. Now let me show you a little mental math trick. 15 times 16. 16 is the same as 30 times 8. See how I doubled that and cut that one in half? Well, 30 times 8 is a lot easier to uh, multiply. And you know 3 times 8 is 24 plus a 0. We get 240. And so if you do the cross products method, and remember, make like a rocket ship and shoot from the bottom up, and you get the same thing, then yes, those are proportional. So are these two figures proportional? Yes, they are. All right, let's take a look at number two. Again, pause the video, go ahead and uh, draw those out so you have them in your notes. Okay, so this time, uh, straight away we can see that these are, this is 18, 18, 18, 18, but this one over here is 24, 36, 24, 36. Now, so it's very unlikely that these are gonna be similar, but let's just double check to make sure. This 65 degrees here just tells us that those guys are, um, it, it, that this, because these guys are 65, you'll get more into this in geometry, and because these guys are parallel and these guys are parallel, these are all parallelograms. So uh, let's do top over side equals top over side. All right. Well, if we do that, divide 18 and 18, that just gives us 1, right? 1 equals. Now over here, we can divide by 6. Divide by 6, and we end up with 4 over 6, and then we can divide again by 2 by 2, and we end up with 2 over 3. So our reduced fraction is 2 over 3. 1 does not equal 2 over 3, so no, these are not similar. Not similar. Awesome work, guys. See you next time.